Right, this might sound odd, but one of the most important things when it comes to filmmaking is audio. This could literally be anything from your standard talking head sound sequence being absolutely spot on to using the most mad sound effects in your finished production to elevate your video to the next level. The production quality of your video could literally be like the best in the world, but if your audio is trash, then your audience is straight up just going to feel uncomfortable and just turn the video straight off and not watch it. Now, being a filmmaker myself, there's been plenty of times in my career so far where the audio of my videos has been absolutely terrible, meaning that my video is also terrible. And this might be for a couple of different reasons. The first reason might be because I haven't used a microphone while recording audio or the microphone that I have used is just not very good. But that's an easy fix because you can get a really, really good microphone for no more than £50, like the microphone that I'm using to record this voiceover, which is the Rode Video Micro. The second reason why my audio might suck is because I haven't used decent headphones while I'm editing my video. Now this can't be helped, sometimes you might be out and about, ready to edit a video, you sit down and your headphones are dead, so you have to use the built-in crappy speakers in your computer. Not ideal, but can't be helped. But if this happens, it means that the audio in your video really is not going to be up to the standard that it should be to get a decent sound to be able to make your video fully come together as a masterpiece. So one thing I would highly recommend if you are looking to get very good audio and make your videos the best that they possibly can be is to invest in a decent set of professional headphones. So I'm guessing this is the part of the video now where I pretend this box has just arrived in the post and that I have no idea what's inside this box and then I do an unboxing with you guys and act as surprised as you guys are to see what the contents of this box is considering the content of this box is not actually what you'd expect the content of this box to be, being that it's come from this particular company. And then when I've unboxed it and act surprised, I'll then go, time to do some tests. Do some tests, film them, and then come back and do a review of the product that's inside this box after. But that's not how this video is gonna work. Because I know exactly what's inside this box. It came about a month ago. I opened it up straight away. I've been using it ever since. And I will say that the product that's inside this box is not what you'd expect to be inside this box. And it is incredible. Enough talking. Let's open the box up and let me show you what it is. So I did actually put some tape back on the top of this box purely for the fact of the unboxing because, well, that's why. But anyway, what we have in this box is going to blow your mind. I'm not joking. You're not going to be expecting this. A book, just kidding. So what we have is actually a first ever product from Rode. They've never made this before in the entire existence of the company. Are you ready? Oh. What we have is the brand new Rode NTH100 Professional Overhead. And I will say this now, hands down, without a doubt, these are the best headphones my ears have ever had the pleasure of listening to. And I've just realized they're also upside down. Stay. I will just say before we go any further with this video that Rode are not sponsoring this video in any way, shape or form. They're not paying me to make any comments about these headphones. If I thought they were shit, I'd say it. So let's open it up and I'll show you what the headphones look like, talk a little bit about them, and then talk about what I think they're very, very good for. So you open up the box. It's a nice box, my head. And you're greeted with a pouch with an O on it that contains your headphones. And you're also greeted with some other bits that we'll talk about in a second. So the headphones themselves, you open up the bag and you are greeted with these sexy bastards of headphones. Never thought I'd say that about headphones, but these are pretty damn sexy. All black, that's what we like. Very, very comfortable. Thumbnail. And they have Alcantara here. They have Alcantara here. Alcantara, if you don't know what Alcantara is, is basically the suede that they use in very expensive cars. So I've basically got an expensive steering wheel on my head right now. Onwards, the ear pads are memory foam. So very, very, very comfy. And when I've been using them for whatever I've been using for, I don't realize they're there. Some after a while get a bit sweaty and you get a bit uncomfortable. These, you don't get sweaty because they have Cooltech ear cushions, 
Yeah, that's what we call them. And they're just really, really comfy. It does not feel like you're wearing headphones at all. We'll talk about the tech specs of these headphones a little bit later. So moving on to the next thing that you have in the box is obviously the cable, because you can't use the headphones without a cable. Two meters long, really fucking long. Nice, nice and sturdy feeling cable. Specific ends, one end for the headphones, one end for whatever you're plugging them into. And one of my favorite features about the cable, you know, normally you plug your headphones in, pops and the headphones are in and then it's just really easy to just rip them out and it's really annoying whereas these if you put the cable in and twist it to the right it locks it so it's just not you can't pull it out like that's not going anywhere without breaking the cable which is really handy because you can't accidentally just rip the cable out of the headphones while you're working and one of the other things i like about these headphones is there is a headphone jack on both ear cups so no matter where your computer is placed. If it's to the left of you, you can plug it into the left. If it's to the right, you can plug it into the right and not have any like overlapping wires, which gets really, really irritating after a while. For the end that plugs into things, you've got your three millimeter, but then it's got a thread on it as well. So when you put the conversion on there, it won't just stick on and get all wobbly after a while like they normally do. Like you screw it on and it's on there solid. Really, really helpful. And then the little bag with the bits and bobs. Basically, what you have is your jack converter that I was just talking about, so that just goes on there and screws on, but you don't need to do that. And then a clever thing that Rode did is on the headphone jack here, I don't know how well you're gonna see this, but you can pop this little ring off, this little black ring. And then you've got color-coded rings, so you can pop a color-coded ring onto the end of it, and now you'll know that this end with the colour on it is for plugging into whatever device you're using and the end with the black ring is the end that goes into the headphones. So that's just really helpful, saves you having to go, all right, which fucking end do I need to use for what? Really helpful, good idea, Road. very impressed. Inside each ear cup you've got a letter, obviously R for right, L for left, so you know which way round to put the headphones on and then the actual cups themselves are shaped like ears. So they're straight down the front and then they've like sort of arched them at the back just so they comfortably, snugly fit around the back of your ear. Perfect design. And my favorite feature of these headphones is you know when you've got headphones like this, you have to like resize them if you've got a fat head so it actually reaches your ears. Well, normally on normal headphones, like these ones, it's like you just pull it and push it and it resizes and then as soon as you chuck it in your bag, one side stays like this, one side goes all the way to the shortest option and then you're like this when you put them on. Well, you never have to worry about that again with these headphones because Rode have made this design where they've got like a little lock thing here and basically you unlock this little lock, you just twist it, resize the headphones to whatever you need it to be, lock it back in place and they will not move, like at all. I have not resized these since I got them and put them on my head for the first time. I was just resized them, locked them in place, haven't need to change it since because they've stayed exactly the same and been perfect literally ever since. So all I have to do when I come downstairs in the morning to edit videos, put them on my head. Perfect. On with the day. Now, I won't lie, I'm not the most clued up when it comes to tech specs on anything, including cameras. So. I've got the booklet manual thing here that Rode sent along with these headphones and what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out a couple of these features for you to give you an idea of what they've got and then I'll just talk about my experience with the headphones so far quickly and they'll let you get on with your day because I don't want to go on for too long about headphones. So it says here, the Rode NTH100s are professional over-ear headphones that are perfect for all forms of content creation, including mixing, audio and video production. Location recording, podcasting, and streaming combine an exceptional sonic performance, superior comfort, and iconic looks. The NTH100s offer an incredible oral. <laughs> that can't be right. Oral experience <laughs> that inspires creativity. And then it says they've got custom matched drivers that deliver an incredibly accurate frequency response, ideal for monitoring and mixing, which is very true. I've noticed that it seems to be absolutely spot on when it comes to levels and frequencies and that kind of stuff. And then precision engineered acoustic construction optimized for exceptional detail, clarity, and a very natural sound, which again, I can 100% agree with because obviously being a video editor, I need to have good sound quality because you know that whole thing, bad sound, people are gonna hate watching your videos. And when it comes to like B-roll stuff, adding sound effects, you've got to get the levels right, the pan right, all that kind of stuff. And these seem to be very, very accurate 
when it comes to what your video is actually going to sound like, as opposed to just using up speakers that are built into your computer. These seem to give much better clarity, as it says there, to what your actual overall sound is going to be like, even compared to using like AirPods or something, which I was doing for a very long time, because AirPods, believe it or not, are actually really, really good for video editing. But these are like a completely different world, obviously, like look at the difference. Like, so since using these, levels in my videos, you won't have seen any of the videos because it's been like work stuff, but levels in my videos for everything that I've done have been so much better. I edited this entire video with these headphones on. So if you've got a good set of headphones or a good set of speakers, you will definitely hear precision editing from me. So I just found a section in this book now which actually tells me the exact specs of these headphones. I'm not gonna read them out, but for anyone that's interested, pause right there, have a little gander, and then come back to me. All I know is I'm gonna really, really, really enjoy using these headphones now for as long as they last. I can imagine they're gonna last an incredibly long time as long as I don't be a twat with them and throw them around and absolutely annihilate them. I am planning on doing another couple of videos on them when I've tested them out, say like in the field while I'm doing like an interview setup or something, like using them for monitoring or whatever. But after I've used them for that kind of stuff and made videos in those specific environments, they're gonna be sat, can you see that? On my stand right there, ready for me to use for work every single day for making videos for you lovely people and those people on TikTok and the people that pay me to make videos. <laughs> so I think that pretty much covers everything I needed to talk about in this video. It's more of like a first look introduction to these incredible headphones. I'm not sure how much they are, but they are released today. So go and have a little look and cop them for yourself because however much they are, they are 100% worth it because I feel like they're built to last a lifetime and they sound and feel so good on your head. That's it for the video anyway. I hope you got something from this video. Make sure you stick around for any future videos on these headphones and any other tech stuff if you want like a Simpletons tech review because like I said, I'm not very clued up on tech specs. <laughs> um, by that I mean subscribe. Give the video a like. Leave me a comment what you think about these headphones, what you think about anything that I've said. Is it worth getting these or should you stick with these? Definitely these. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later.